Welcome back, everybody. So here we are with issue five. This will probably end up being one of the shorter videos. Um, at the very least, I know there's not much to do. I stuck my hand in paint. Okay, so let's get to the parts that we have in this issue. So there's not many parts. So we have um, two parts that go... Um, this, these two parts that lead out to the cockpit, okay, and um, they're just going to fit together like this and um, make up that part of the, um, going, like I said, going to the cockpit, and uh, so those two parts are here, right, so we have those, then we have, um, so I've gone up and washed these so we have these and these are part of the cockpit um, they're going to go on along the sides uh, where the seats are and uh, we're actually going to paint these up to be something different than what these are um, I've looked and the book doesn't show you the magazine doesn't show you anything but I've done a lot of looking on images online and stuff and um, basically I can tell you they didn't look like this. And here you'll see two of the pictures that I found on the internet uh, for the Falcon cockpit. They're different and they're okay. I'm going to use these for inspiration for my model. All right. So this is not. Let me show you. So basically, these are both mirrored on the same side. So if you can see the one, you can you know what the other one looks like just mirror. Um, but I can tell you that there's some areas that look that have these same details. Um, but not all of them, and uh, so um, I'm going to paint it, and I'm going to make them both irregular, meaning they're not going to be the same on either side, so each one's going to be a little bit different. Um, there's only so much that I can do, um, but I'm going to um, use some silvers and some other colors to kind of... Uh, change them up a little bit, give them a little bit of, of uh, extra detail, and then we can get, the, when they're dried, we can get those put in. So one of the things, I don't know if I mentioned when I talked about washing these, I did mention um, using uh, dish soap, probably Dawn, because it takes grease out of your way. But another thing that you want to make sure that you do is when you rinse it, you don't use tap water. Um, you rinse, you do, I do the, my initial rinse with tap water because I'm washing it with warm water. Anyway, but um, when you're actually rinsing it, what you want to do is your final rinse, you should be using like distilled water because it doesn't have all the minerals and the minerals will cause uh, the paint to paint differently on here. Um, so we have those. That's the final or second to last thing. And then this, this is the light board and it is actually going to mount on the back here. They'll actually mount here, so you can see these two little holes here. They're going to go in there, and then the screw goes in there. They give us two screws. We only need one. That's fine. We'll take the extra. No big deal. But uh, we're going to put those in here. And uh, before I mount this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to um, thin down some paint. From what I've read, I was going to get some transparent paint. But what I've read is you can kind of make the paint transparent if you thin it down uh, a fair amount. So I'm going to try like a 50-50 mix. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint. You can see like this is like an orangish red. These down here are blue. So, and that's blue up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint a couple spots, different colors like this. will be all paint like a, a, maybe a red. And then I'll paint down here. I'll paint that blue. Uh, this part over here, I'll paint blue, and maybe this little line here. Make sure. So I'll paint this blue, this blue. This is going to be red, and then I might paint maybe that line there blue, and something else. Because if we look on here, every place that's blue, I want to paint blue. There's really only the one spot that I can see clearly. I mean, there's a couple dots of red. There's really only this one spot that's kind of orangish red there. Um, I could probably, oops, I could probably come 
in here and do some red and that'll take care of these here you know so if I do some red through here um, through there that'll take care of these these red things there so basically the reason why we want to do that is because um, uh, what's gonna happen is this lights gonna shine through and if we don't kind of add the additional color from what I've seen what happens is um, these kind of get white you know it's so bright that you can't really tell these colors it's just looks like white coloring so um, we're gonna try to take care of that um, so we'll do a little bit of that uh, some experimenting with that and um, we're actually not going to do anything with these parts right now um, reason being is because I'm gonna paint these insides black I think I mentioned that before that I was gonna paint the uh, um, hall pieces black uh, for light blocking and these are very important to do it too because this light is going to be sitting. See where this take these apart. You see where this ring is here. That light's going to be just on the back side of that. So um, if we look, this ring is where the cockpit's going to actually be mounted in there. Um, so you can I think you can see that there. So the the cockpit's going to mount where that ring is, and which means the light's going to be back here, and uh, all that bright light you'll be able to see through some of these lighter spots like this here this this spot here I, I don't know if you can tell uh, but that's very thin right through here like if I hold this up I can actually see through the the light through there sorry just still trying to get over a cold so apologize for that and there's a couple of light spots um, through here these little one of these little areas here that's very thin and you can see light through there and we want to make sure that we block that off we don't want any light to be shining through there so um, we're not going to put this together tonight because we are going to paint those black. So those we can ignore. Um, let's go ahead and get started with these. The instructions, um, there's not a lot of instructions, right? I mean, there's only <laughs> really a couple things. You know, basically what they're saying is, um, first thing you do is you start off with your light panel. We're going to do that um, last because we're going to do the painting. Okay, we don't need this magazine for the moment. So let's get that out of our road so we can do some painting. Okay, so here we go. Uh, let's get, I'm going to use this little semi fine tipped brush, right? So. Again, this is one of those cheap brushes from uh, from uh, that comes with the tester stuff. So you can tell how much paint I got here. A little bit. Okay. There we go. All right. So um, I think I'm, what I'm going to do is on this one here, I'm actually going to, I think what I'll do is I'll paint this back half black. Right. Does that make sense? Because I, I want to change up. It's kind of like, um, you know, like when I, anybody that uh, put face camo on, any of my military people, you want to break up the outline. And basically what we're doing is we're just kind of adjusting the look of this. It'd help if I could do a, a straight line. Because it's getting smaller and smaller. Okay. So we're doing a little bit of black there. And this one, I'm just going to try to do just a line right down the middle. And it doesn't really matter if it's absolutely perfect. Because um, not many people are really going to see it, and especially like the bottom part, because these are going to be sitting in there like at an angle like that. So you're only going to be able to kind of see parts of it, right? Let's go ahead and add a little bit of color. So what we want to do is I'm going to 
actually use this lighter blue. It should be a lighter blue. This is a uh, Tamiya Sky Blue X14. But what we're going to do with this is um, we're actually going to paint uh, one of these things up here. All right. So let's. And one of the things that I like about the Tamiya paint is it doesn't have that little cardboard thing. So that's kind of nice. Okay, so here's a problem. Painting this blue on here is, uh, one, this blue is so light that the black kind of hides it. So we may have to have a few... Uh, coats of this paint on there to get it to really kind of stick out. You can kind of see that there. It's kind of sticking out now. So we'll do a little bit there and um, even though there's no details along this top edge, um, I'm just going to put a couple dots as if it's a button or something. All right, so let's put a couple little dots there, and we'll probably put like a yellow or a red one over here as well. All right, so we'll kind of reinforce that with a little tad bit more layer, so it really kind of stands out. All right, and then. We'll do, let's, let's just leave it at that. We don't need a lot of blue. Okay. Let's bring in the red. All right. So this should be interesting. Um, okay. I guess I only do it on this side. I should do it on the other side too. Okay, so this red we'll put I could probably be using micro brushes for this. That would probably make sense. But, you know, why make sense, right? Let's add, let's add something to this. There's that. And, um, do half of that. That. Okay, so that looks good. That's good for now. Take our yellow and uh, kind of. Okay, there's that. All right. There's that there. go. 
them some yellow. Like I said, we're just adding some colors just to change it up a little bit because otherwise the only options we were going to have would be um, maybe silver and uh, whatever I decided to do with that white. Um, you know, if I just left it kind of at that. So, you know, it's kind of probably a good idea that we added some different different stuff to it. So, let's see what we got going on right now. What do you think? Like I said, they're not perfectly painted, but it's going to be pretty small. And you're going to be looking through the windows. It's going to be off to the sides. And so we just want to give the illusion that there's something else going on there. So this is some Model Master Silver that my wife bought at uh, Hobby Lobby. And because it's so clumped, I don't know if silver or all silver does this, but because it's so clumped up, it makes me feel like it had been sitting on the shelf for a while. Anybody that does models, does a lot of models, tell me, do you know if, because silver's got all that metallic, if silver just naturally does this? Because, I, I mean, I just used this not long ago, and it already started to separate. So maybe this is kind of a natural thing that it does. Who knows? What we're going to do with this is the first thing we're going to do is this one here is going to get silver. Boy, I better get better bring more paint to the job right there. That's going to get silver, and then I'm going to give this whole area here will be silver. You know, at the beginning of this video, I said that um, this will probably be one of the shorter videos. I didn't take into account the amount of effort I was going to put in painting this, um, these, uh, basically armrests. Uh, I, if I recall, um, I don't remember if I read this in the magazine. I don't think I did. Um, but if I recall, I heard someplace that basically these parts, uh, these things here, and in the actual Millennium Falcon, were the door panels out of a, some Volvo. <laughs> How funny is that? And then, you know, they spruced them up by adding some stuff to them, but their base things were door panels out of a Volvo. That's pretty crazy. All right, so let's make sure we've got... I think not bad so far. I think so. There's that one. This one's gonna get a little bit different treatment. So this is gonna be all silver, and silver is not covering the white very well. I can tell you that it actually covers the black better than it does the white. It's pretty interesting. Maybe it just is because it's making it a real bright. It's so bright with the white behind it. I mean, because I think the silver is pretty much, it's more of just the metallic with, you know, in the thinner itself than it is the, uh, and, you know, than there is any kind of actual paint itself to it, you know, so. In order to get it on this white, we have to really kind of lay it on pretty thick. Okay. 
So and then what we're going to do is we're going to do that one and do this one. All right. And then we'll do this one and this one. All right. Is that oh let's do this all right let's see what we got going on here yeah okay okay so now we're ready to do some dry brushing so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna mix this paint again I said I want to make sure this silver is good and mixed. So we're going to mix this paint again and uh, kind of go from there. So if, if you recall, dry brushing, right? We just want a little bit of paint on our brush. So we're going to dip it in the paint. We're going to wipe it off. And then what we're going to do, we're just going to take it. And we're just going to lightly brush it across things and hope that we have just a little bit of paint on our brush uh, and it makes it stand out. So uh, we have a little bit of paint is right, right? Because you can barely tell that I've done anything at all. Which is fine. The when you're dry brushing, you want to take your time, and you want it to be very subtle, right? Welcome back, everybody. So I know I said I was going to thin some paint, and I was telling my wife about it, and she thought hey, you should just get some transparent if that's what you need. So we got some transparent paint. So this is a different brand. Um, I've got some uh, Model Masters, which is a tester's brand. Then I've also got the, the, the Tamiya or the Tamiya, however you pronounce it. Well, this is Vallejo paint. And Vallejo, they make all kinds of different kinds. But these were the easiest ones that we could find that were transparent. Transparent red and transparent blue. So those are the colors that we're going to do today. And uh, so you can't see the red very well, but we're going to do red up here on the sphere. And then we have this little red dot right there. But then we've got the blue there. We've got blue there. Some blue through here. We're going to try to get, oops, up here. Up here. Try to get all of these red dots through here. We'll do the blue over here, these red dots there, and up over here, as well as that blue right there. So we're going to try, and it looks like, well, maybe it's just the way the camera shows it. It kind of looked like there was a really dark blue right there, but no, I think that's just that's just what the the camera was showing on the my display over there. So. Um, what I've got is a couple little cups, and uh, I was telling my wife that I needed, uh, I wanted something that I could, you know, just use as a quick paint, um, like little paint dishes, you know, because I've got these, and they're pretty much, you know, used up or whatever. I, I could probably try to clean these, which I will one day, um, probably should do it soon, but, uh, you know, so I can't really do much in there. Well, she... <laughs> She had all these sitting around. She uh, said, well, let's just clean these out. So these are um, coffee creamer, like, uh, you know, the, the liquid creamer um, little cups. So she opened them up, poured them out, rinsed them and washed them for me. And now, um, thanks to her, I have these little cups. And I've got uh, those two and, and um, those and shoot across there and three others. And... Uh, so I'll clean these out, of course, but uh, 
that gives me some some cups to use so if i end up needing a lot of different paints and stuff then i can do that so the way these lids work you can actually just shake them up you don't have to um stir them or anything so i'm gonna shake the crap out of them and uh we'll start off with the blue and uh and uh we'll kind of go from there so i'm just gonna put a fair number of drops in there i don't know how much paint i'm gonna need but uh you know, I don't want to have to do this again, you know. So, I'll probably be tipping this back and forth. So, okay, so I pointed out on this end where I needed to paint. And those all translate to these white spots on the back end. So, up here at the top is what we're going to be looking at. So, I think that's going to be right in that, that line right through there. Okay, so um, we don't want to do the whole line because... Some of those are white, and we want to leave those white. So we want to be on the inside part. So we're just going to um, try to get some of that paint in there. If you can see that. And uh, kind of making a mess. But uh, I got some of the paint in there. And I don't think it's going to you know, matter if I don't get it. 100% perfect because, I mean, anything I do is going to be better than what, um, what was already there, right? So, um, and it's interesting, um, I don't know if you guys can see this, I think you can, um, so the paint is, you can actually still kind of see through that paint, so that is, that is pretty cool, transparent paint, you know, um, so we'll do some paint here. And so there's this one darker color of blue. And uh, what I think I'll do is I'm going to add a couple coats to it. And that's this one, this bigger one over here. So I'm going to go ahead and get it painted now. And uh, so that way I can try to let it dry a little bit and uh, come back and get some more. So let's not be afraid to get some paint in there. All right, and we got a little line up here. I think that's where it's at. Yeah, up in here, up in here, up in here. All right. Obviously, not really the best paintbrush for this. But hey, you use what you got. I do have other paintbrushes, but uh, it's you know, cheap and might as well use it up before I move on with something else. Um, let's just make sure we get everything done that we want to get done. This one here is kind of a pain. Because I'm not really getting, there we go. I got more of it that time. Okay. Alright, so that's going to be it for the blue. So we'll take care of that. Let me just set that brush over here off to the side. And we'll, like I said, we'll clean up that. Obviously, I know I don't need that much red, so... We won't use that much red. Let's do like five drops or something like that. All right. So the first spot I know is up here, right up here by this blue. Uh, so the light goes on the outside, so, like this little spot right there, I can't, can't quite see where that's, okay, so essentially I just got to get that in there. There we go. Um... Oh, yeah, let's get this big circle here. Okay. 
Alright. Um, we got all these all along here. Oh, look how fumble. Right about now, my brother will be laughing if he's watching this because he loves it when I goof up. So there you go, Kirk. I goofed up. All right, so we got these ones over here. We'll do this line here. And I thought about trying to see if I couldn't like, do some pictures and make them side by side so I can, could kind of map it out in my head like while looking at it or something. But that just seemed like way too much work. So I decided against that. Uh -oh. I'm not going to make purple. Alright, and. Yeah, we got plenty of red there. Alright. Well, that. I think will be good. That's all the. There's a, supposed to be a little red up here someplace. On this inside, but there's no hole there to, to color it, so I won't worry about that. Alright, so we're going to let that dry, and then uh, when we come back, um, we'll have that put together. We're not going to be able to see the lighting yet, because um, we haven't gotten to the issue that gives us the little test lamp. Um, that's probably a couple issues ahead, so uh, what we'll do is we'll come back and and uh, I'll show you that after it's all put together. But in the meantime, um, I kind of finished some of this off of camera. So what you can see here is, um, so you can see like this little black dot. I added that to kind of make it look like a control. Um, I did some uh, kind of uh, some of the dry brushing and, and other stuff like that. I kind of added some of that stuff in there, and then uh, on this side, I added some controls, just little black dots, and uh, a little bit of dry brushing there as well, um, up in there. So just kind of added a little bit here and there just to kind of, um, you know, finish it up. So these are going to be the side panels of the cockpit, and... Uh, when we come back, the last thing we'll do is we'll get these things glued into place. And uh, so they'll be in their permanent home. So we'll come back when all this is dry. Welcome back, everybody. So this is nearly dry. I figured we might as well go and put these side panels on so we can all see it for ourselves. And... Uh, do the left side first, right? I'm just going to put a little bit on the outsides of each one of these. And, uh, alright, do this. And then this just fits into those slots there. I said slots. And this pushes in. See those there? And what we'll do is, just for a little extra security, we'll just uh, touch those up like that. Alright, so let's, uh, I'm just going to kind of leave it upside down. Because I don't want to set it, since I mistakenly put that extra stuff on there when I was, before I had 
the other side on, I can't just set it down on that flat part. So, there we go. Let's slide that up in there. And make sure it's good and secure and even. And there it is. All right. And then, last thing we'll do is touch it up a little bit there, like that. Just like we did the other side. And there you go. Um, now we have the front part of the cockpit. And like I said, this is pretty much dry. I don't, just a little bit of this dark blue here that needs to dry. But I think it's dry enough that we can stick it on here. And I'm not going to glue this in place just yet. But uh, there you go. Um, we are one step closer. Um, I, I have a feeling that over the next couple issues, we will have this done. So, okay. I can set that down now, that back piece. All right. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I'm going to call that the end of the issue. Um, so last thing we want to do is we want to look to see what we got coming up with the next issue. So this was the issue that we just had. And issue six, we're going to have um, the part of the cone and uh, this ring, which will go around the top here. Um, and then these pieces, this is for the seat um, in the uh, hall area where Chewbacca and them sat and played uh, to Jarek. This is going to go up and form this part around the cockpit. And I think that's what those two pieces go as part of that. And then this is going to be some detail pieces, I believe, for the this here um, whether or not we put those detail pieces on um, this time or not I don't know oh and we also have the hyperdrive throttle pieces that uh, that we will put in the front of the cab uh, the dashboard there so that's pretty cool all right thanks everybody see you in the next issue